Hello everyone, I am Edgar Chavisha and I am here to discuss to you about the employee experience management in a virtual platform. After all is said and done, there is one question that came to my mind. As a people manager, what do we do with the employees who are in quarantine? At the same time, ano rin ba ang kailangan natin gawin doon sa mga empleyado na nandoon sa frontline dahil kinakailangan natin ng mga skeletal force? Ano din ba ang ginagawa natin doon sa mga empleyado na we ask for them to work from home? When money is going low, what do we tell them also? Sabihin lang natin sa kanila, have faith, help will come. O kaya naman maybe with the, we tell them with the optimism, no? the, the optimism that uh, the government's assistance, no? the financial assistance coming from the government will be there. It will come. Mag, magantay ka lamang. At uh, sabi nga ng kanta, di ba? Ma manalig ka lang. O kaya naman pagkalimbawa medyo talagang uh, nangungulit na at saka talagang uh, naghihinagpis na at saka nagagalit na talaga yung mga empleyado. No? O kaya sabihin naman natin na uh, stay well, stay safe, and stay home. Yun ba? Well, everybody is saying that, actually. You know, we have to understand. Well, we have to be very realistic about it. We have to be very emphatic. At the same time, empathetic about it. That this is an abrupt change in the lives of people, in the lives of the employees. Imagine every day, ang forced activity nila ay isa na yung nasanay sila sa habit of waking up in the morning, going to work, and return. Nanimiss na nila yung mga siksikan sa LRT at saka MRT. Hindi nyo ba alam yun? <laughs> Mamimiss din nila yung lahat ng mga pagpila, paghabol, at saka pagkapit uh, sa mga estribo nila. Yung mga, yun ang mga klase ng labanan araw-araw. Yung kanilang pinaglalaban at saka mga higmagsikang kanilang sinasalihan alas araw-araw. Siyempre, namimiss din ng mga empleyado yun. And of course, naturally, that is giving them a sense of security that there is a financial funds that are going to come to them because of the sweldo. No? So, nandun naman talaga tayo. At... Masasabi ko nga na ito ay, itong pagbabagong ito is not very abrupt, can be utterly distressing. Napakahirap tanggapin yung ganong klaseng sitwasyon na biglang nangyari sa ating mga empleyado. Yung nangyari sa empleyado ay parang sinabi na rin natin na nangyari sa kanilang pamilya. Kaya naman ganun na lang yung reaksyon nila. It is said that you will know the true character of a person with the way one reacts with the way one reacts towards a difficult situation or a challenging time, we are in such a situation. In the eyes of the employees, they will know that the true character of its company with the way it reacts and what kind of experience will the company give them during the crisis situation. Yun yun. And ito ngayon, yung COVID-19 pandemic could be one of the lowest periods in the lives of of our employees, in the lives of all these people, in your life, in my life. And I believe that this is the best time more than ever, more than ever, to demonstrate the true character of the organization if we want that imprinted in the minds. Kasi nandito tayo sa period na kinakailangan natin na maging virtually present in the lives of the employees. It is in this period that companies through their people managers, should make their presence felt. To convincingly make them feel that more than the paycheck, more than the financial assistance that they are expecting or that they would want to give the employees, the company is looking after their welfare, extending efforts to strengthen their sense of connectedness and belonging to a company with a character and culture to be proud of. Yun yun. And so therefore, Let's take the opportunity to show the character, the great character of the company to the employees. And at the same time, on my part, I would like to take this opportunity to share to you what employee experience management is all about. Now, the Virtual Employee Experience Management, or EXM for short, no, is a concept of leading and managing the employee experience through a holistic perspective aimed at integrating the employees into the mainstream of the culture of the organization. It seeks to harness the eight streams that tinutukoy namin sa Confluent Learning. Ano ano ba yung eight streams na yan? Ito, number one, physical, number two, intrapersonal, three, spiritual, four, cognitive, five, creative, six, interpersonal, seven, emotional, and eight, the behavioral streams. 
These are the eight streams of the whole being of an employee. By methodically laying down a variety of employee engagement activities or programs throughout the year or within a specific period of time, those streams are touched. They are touched, building in them a sense of organizational citizenship. It is the same sense that inspires employees to strengthen the desired organizational culture and which kindles the spirit to drive the company towards achieving peak performance. So, ito raw yung kung halimbawang maganda ang nararamdaman at ang karanasan ng isang empleyado sa isang kumpanya. Ito ay dahil sa mga series of activities na deliberately at saka methodically na linalaga at nilalatag ng kumpanya sa buong taon o sa isang period na itinalaga ng kumpanya. Tapos, nakaka-develop yon ng organizational citizenship behavior. At yung organizational citizenship behavior na yan ay tumutukoy doon sa sense of pagiging um, uh, mataas ang initiative. Uh, mag, merong sense of voluntarism ang mga empleyado. Hindi na sila nagbibilang ng oras. Hindi na sila nagbibilang ng, ng laging may kapalit. So, meron silang mga kusang loob na nilang ginagawa para sa ikabubuti ng kasamahan nila sa trabaho, lalong-lalong na yun sa mga bago, at maging kapakipakinabang para sa buong kumpanya. Nandun na yung sinatawag na organization citizenship. Pagka raw mayroong ganun, natutulungan ang company na ma-achieve yung organization peak performance. So, kung mabibuild yun at may strengthen yun ng mga people managers, then the organizational strength and uh, competitive advantage will really be, be very, very strong and be very, very pronounced. Uh, the typical employee experience kasi ganito, they come from face to face. Siguro sanay na sanay kasi tayo bago nag-COVID, no? bago nag-lockdown. We are all sanay na sanay sa mga face to face encounters at saka yung may mga social gatherings talaga, mass gatherings talaga. So pag halimbawang uh, may mga team building pagka summer, may mga uh, iba't ibang mga occasions na ginagawa natin kapag halimbawa may mga kapihan sa uh, with the president, May mga iba't ibang mga birthday celebrations para sa mga birthday celebrators for the month and so on and so forth. No? Napakarami yan. Eventually, parang every month or periodically, every quarter, nagkakaroon ng mga ganyang klaseng mga gatherings. Pero ngayon, ano, in, in the context of the new normal characterized by physical and social distancing, the telecommuting and other influences of the digital technology, hindi na po pwede yun. The employee experience in the virtual platform takes the spotlight. So, Ando na, sa virtual platform na muna tayo. At the same time, kahit halimbang matapos ang lahat ng ito, ang lockdown na ito, I am sure my fearless forecast is that there will really be physical distancing pa rin na kakailanganin at ma-appreciate na rin ng management that there can be occasions pala na pwedeng i-hold ng less expenses, ng mas cost-effective, at the same time, Mag, magagawa din pala yon even uh, kahit na may mga employado tayo sa branches and regional offices pwedeng mangyari pala yon at pwedeng gawin yon deliberately meaning hindi yung parang napag-isipan lang yun ay ginagawa at pinag sinasama talaga sa plano now the mechanics of the virtual EXM is simple number 1 determine uh, the suitable culture building programs number 2 integrate those programs using functional technology in the management of the employee experience. Now, those are the two major uh, elements. Now, what are the more specific ones so that we can be more clear about it? Now, remember this word, kudos. Kudos is a is a word, actually, na tungkol sa praise and recognition that is received after you have achieved something or after you have accomplished. It goes to say na parang medyo informal, congratulations! It's similar to that. But now, I'm putting it in the context of the employee em uh, experience management, KUDOS, stands for, number one, letter K, is to know the desired organizational culture. And then U stands for understand the prevailing organizational culture. D, determine the level of experience and specific programs. O, open the appropriate social media platform to use. And five, select the appropriate digital platform to use or apps to use. Let me take up the know the desired organizational culture. 
The desired organizational culture is embodied in the rich history and heritage of the organization, and it is articulated also in the vision, mission, core values of your company. It can be deduced further from the pronouncements and the directives of its leaders, especially the president and the CEO. Uh, in some organizations with formal quality systems, you may mga ISO, ISO dyan, they even explicitly express that in their quality policy. Now, the people manager should have a deep appreciation of these foundational principles that the company upholds. Kinaki, kung bago ka dun sa kumpanya, the more that you really have to understand, paano ba nakraft yung vision, mission na yun? Ano ba ang nasa isip? Kasi yung nakikita mo dun, concise version na yun, pero ano ba ang nilalaman pa nun? Yun ang kinakailangan mong marinig at maintindihan sa mga leaders na nag-craft noon. Uh, the second one is understand the prevailing organizational culture. The people manager should have a clear assessment of the level of mentality and the way of life of the employees in the workplace. Kasi minsan, uh, yung desired organizational culture at saka yung prevailing ay hindi nagkakatugma. So may mga gaps yan. So intindihin mo muna yun. What must know how the company tips in the barometer and identify the gaps. Not too many companies have integrated cultures. Most of them, they have their own fragment, they have fragmented cultures. Yung mga kanya-kanya ba? Bawat isang department, they are molding and claiming a culture of their own. Eh, tsaka minsan, syempre, territory teritoryo yan. So, they are living in a silo. Kaya, the more people and the more leaders live and lead their people in a silo, uh, the more that it fragments the organizational culture, which is not really very good. But the more collaborative uh, the leaders are, they are not territorial. They do not. They are looking upon the vision and the purpose and the core values of the company. Mas madali at mas maganda. Okay. The people manager must know the common ground that, could, that should help you. Uh, yung ano yung norm as well as the deviations. If one has not implemented in employee client ka, ito yun, ano, employee climate survey. Kapag hindi ka pa nakagawa ng ganun at wala kang reliable data masyado na pwedeng panghawakan, well, could you trust your gut feel? Kaya lang kung bago ka rin kasi, most likely, you will need the more seasoned employee to, especially the leaders of the company, to consult before passing any interpretation or implementing your programs. Okay. The third one is to determine the level of experience in specific programs. Now, ito yung may kinalaman sa mga, yung vir virtual platform mo will depend largely on which of those that the company had already implemented. Tignan mo muna, ano na ba yung ini-implement ng kumpanya? Which of those does the company would like to innovate or enhance? So, tignan mo from all the in-implement nyo na at nakasanayan nyo na o yung sinasabi mong nadatnan ko na na yan, Ano doon yung pwedeng i-innovate, pwedeng i-enhance? Pangatlo, what new endeavors is the company ready and willing to adopt to bridge the gap between the prevailing culture and the desired culture? So, tanungin din natin sa sarili natin at tingnan din natin, ano ba ang pwedeng bago na i-adapt ng kumpanya, na pwede at kaya ng kumpanya? Well, for example, itong virtual platform is one of them hindi pa nila siguro ginagawa. Mayroong sigurong page ng sa Facebook, pero para saan ba yung ginagamit? Job posting, recruitment, o kaya naman yung mga pagka naisipan na, o ilagay natin ito, ilagay natin yan. Well, maybe marketing purposes ang nakakapag-benefit noon. Pero, itong virtual employee experience na ito, ay hindi naman exactong nakakapture yung gusto mong ma-experience talaga ng empleyado. Dahil sa motsari yun, meron kang gustong audience na maabot, audience na nag-aplikante, at audience ng mga parang gustong bumili o gustong maging interesado sa ating kumpanya. Pero, yung nakatutok at nakafocus doon sa mismong employee experience, hindi yun para doon. So, it must also matter if the people manager could know the capabilities and the maturity level of the employees and at the same time yung preferences nila. Okay. Like halimbawa, uh, gusto mong ano, gusto mong magkaroon ng Zoom class naka-virtual. O sige, i-zoom natin siya. Pagkatapos noon, eh karamihan sa mga empleyado mo pala, mga engineers, mga lalaki. 
eh, baka naman hindi yan magiging fit sa kanila at hindi nila masyadong ma-appreciate yun. Eh, yung pala, kasi ikaw, baka mamaya yung personality mo o yung preferences mo lang ang umiiral, kaya gusto mo nung may ganun. Dapat, nakatuon ka doon sa ano yung audience mo, sino yung audience mo, ano, ano yung mag, magiging preferences nila at mag appeal talaga sa kanila. Maybe, you can give something for the segment, you segmentize them, and then ito yung para sa Zumba, ito yung para sa maybe the male counterparts would be into, let's say, showcasing their calligraphic talents or their vis vis visual arts, if they are into visual arts, something like that. So the meaning, the people manager must customize. Now, later on, after, uh, in, uh, after I describe all this, uh, uh, the kudos, I will tell you exactly kung ano naman yung level of experience at saka yung mga specific examples ng program na pwede natin ilagay sa bawat level of experience. Now, let me proceed with number four. Open the appropriate social media platform to use. The company should be able to open the social media platform appropriate for this purpose. The channel to use is where people can know the company better, know their colleagues better, yun yun eh, interact with them better and foster the viral effect to adopt the ways, the norms, and the values of the company's desired culture in the organization. Kung ano man yung uh, irini-reward ng kumpanya at sinusuportahan ng kumpanya, yun. The most widely used ay, ano pa ba naman, di Facebook. Pero meron din tayong na-discover eventually like uh, Workplace yata is also one good platform. Now, the company may create a close group page for its bona fide employees. So, ito yun, ano? So, you can open a Facebook account, closed group nga lang, para ang lahat ng mga nandun ay yung mga empleyado lang. Entirely different from the company's public page used for recruitment and marketing purposes. This page is intended for an exclusive channel for the employees to interact through a regulated environment where designated administrators can screen, evaluate, and select the materials to post in the page. Since it is an official company page focused on nurturing the employees' uh, experience in the company, it will also protect the company, or rather the page will have to protect the company and its employees from any unwanted intrusions, bullying, and any form of misconduct or misdeeds. And finally, number five, select the suitable digital technology or apps. The virtual experience through the social media also requires a certain type of digital technology applicable or rather compatible with the social media platform and other posts that may be uploaded in the page. While most digital technology or apps are widely used and compatible to most platforms, it is still best to use the technology that can cater to any type of devices. For ano nga naman ang uh, uh, saysay pa na meron kang uh, ina-upload na materials or ginagamit na parang platform para magamit pero hindi naman na-access ng ibang empleyado. Kasi may mga iba't ibang devices na hindi naman kaya. No? So, alimbawa, gagamit, let's say, lalabas ka doon sa FB, gagamit ka ng Zoom. Kaya lang, may mga devices pala na hindi kaya yung Zoom. So, kinakailangan maghanap ka ng common ground. No? Kung ano, ano bang gagawin mo? I-upgrade mo yung unit? Okay? So, <laughs> i-upgrade mo yung unit ng mga employees para maka-access sila. Or, baguhin mo na lang, maghanap ka ng iba. Baka naman FB Live, okay na. Some things like that. No? Recap. Kudos is know the desired organizational culture. U is understand the prevailing culture of the organization. D is to determine the level of experience and specific programs. O, open the appropriate social media platform to use. And S, select the appropriate digital platform or apps. So there you have it, guys. You have seen the video and uh, hope that you tune into the next, okay? So please remember to click subscribe. Like us on Facebook also. If you have any question to ask, any input that you want to add, or any thoughts that you'd like to share, write it down there.